I remember we were standing there, Adrian to my left with the camera, uh, and I'm on, I'm on his right, and we just waiting in anticipation. We know something big is going to happen. Everybody can feel it, you know. And make sure you capture this was just exactly that. Make sure you are recording. And that's the point that got us to where we are today. Um, we had championships or whatever race it was, you know. Make sure you're recording because if you're not, you know, we could have missed Simon Mahakwe's uh, first man under 10 seconds. Akani is running a 10.02. I think one of my most memorable um, moments was actually the creation of Backtrack with the first sub-10 race where Simon Mahakwe ran sub-10. And we really know, okay, this is what, uh, this, we've got something. The 10 second thing probably was the most important race on South African soil. I remember just standing on the pavilion and they said, on your marks, and it was just, shh. The next thing you just hear, woo! It was so enormous that you can't describe it. Ladies and gentlemen, the running time of Simon Mahakwe. Make sure you capture this moment. Are you guys recording, by the way? Yeah, I'm Aaron Schmidt, also known as the White Wizard. <laughs> I'm joking, so I can't take you seriously. I'm Leon Ferry. I'm a co-founder and the shareholder of Back Sports. I'm also an Olympic finalist and a former African record holder in 110 meter hurdles. Yes, sir, the dancing machine. I'm Timba Madima, I'm one of the directors of Back Sports and EC Active, formerly known as EC Active. I'm Owen Schmidt. Directors of Back Sports, previously known as Eagles Club, EC Active, and then over time we're really involved from Backtrack to, to Back Sports. Athletics did it in high school, made a national team, went to the States and studied there and participated for two years, then transitioned to, to rugby after taking a year off of, of sport. I made it into the USA Players Pool, which was pretty cool. One of our biggest motives is by athletes for athletes. By athletes for athletes. Besides uh, for athletes, by athletes, the motto in the company has been NDA. You know, that's about it. <laughs> we are athletes first and that's why we understand what the athletes need and that's, that's what we make sure we bring to the athletes or the sports people because we understand. And all driven towards building by athletes for athletes. I'm super excited about having him part of our team. He's exactly what we need to go to the next level and man, talk about an amazing CEO of an amazing company. Look forward to it. And having a world-class athlete like him and a world-class person like him involved, you know, it's just, it's just great to see whatever we've been working on is definitely to show that we're on the right path. He knows where he's going, he's got a good sense of self, um, he's achieved a lot in a very short period of time. But the chances also is still in there, but Akani Simbini is going to pull away. Will Clarence catch him? It looks like it's going to be Akani Simbini taking this one. I'm a 
Kanisim Bine, um, South African 100 meter sprinter, South African 100 meter record holder, and the fastest man in the world. Ah! Yes! 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 Hi, I'm Akane Simbini, South African 100 meter sprinter and the 100 meter record holder and one of the fastest men in the world and fastest men in Africa. Akane Simbini, aka AK47, one of his nicknames, Aki Nsimbi, is a new one that has popped by. But also, I also like to call him Tsonga Man with Power. <laughs> I have a lot of nicknames. AK, AK47, Aki. Um, people call me Zimbi. That's why he's a superstar athlete, but he's also a superstar individual, you know. So, yeah, big ups to Akani. I'm super excited about having him part of our team. Having a world-class athlete like Akani joining uh, the company is just great validation of what we've been working on for such a long time. The reason I decided to join the Black Sports family was because it's to itself, it's a family, you know, and with a lot of things that I've partnered with, it's more to do with being a family because then it means more to you to make it work. He raised the right questions and it was there, it wasn't given to him. So yeah, I'm very excited um, and he wants to take this uh, somewhere else. The guys in Black Sports had that attraction of, you know, we are a family, we're trying to grow something in South Africa, we're trying to do it for the younger guys, we're trying to do it for the guys that are still there, we're trying to grow athletics in South Africa and for me I'm very passionate about that, you know, getting the younger guys running, getting the younger guys passionate about growing the sport in South and in them achieving greatness in athletics, you know, and that's what back sports is about. He's one of the biggest uh, athletes in Africa at the moment, so yeah, it's a pleasure to have him part of the team and it's definitely going to play a big role in where we're going because we want to take over Africa, we want to take over the world. That 1002 race with Simon when he ran 999, that was the first recorded sub 10 seconds in South Africa, you know, and if, you, if that track wasn't there, it was never going to be recorded. And one of the um, big things with Supersport when we gave that footage was they need to share more than just the 10 second race. That gave us actually a point of leverage to really say, okay, this is where we wanted to, to go with it. And this is not just about one athlete, it's about more. Simon, he, I, mean, I don't think he remembers us, but he said to me, he's like, he said, my boy, I'm going sub 10 now. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna go with you. Gun went off, boom. And I could feel that I'm actually running really, really, really fast. It's me and Simon going, you know, um, get to the 60 mark, it's still him and I. He went 9.98 and then I went 10.02 and I was like, yo, I was this close. I, I'm there. And I started believing that this is actually can be done. But I feel like Backtrack played an important role in South African athletics in a, in a place where we, they brought South African athletics to the world. Creating a business that's focused in sport. It's really living with the, the sport market, really living each and every one of those heartbeats, those moments of greatness that we've seen, like the 10 second. Um, really having that, that connection to it, I mean, somehow try to monetize the content that's coming from that, and then putting that back into to athletes. We knew we had to recruit some talent into the team. And from um, training in Pretoria, the first guy I talked to was, was Temba Madima. That has been uh, Leon's most uh, powerful contribution, you know, pulling me in. <laughs> no, just kidding. But I'm not kidding, it's true. So a short conversation and uh, everybody was extremely happy to have him on board. And it's just been growing from strength to strength. We're trying to grow athletics in South Africa. And for me, I'm very passionate about that, you know, getting the younger guys running, getting the younger guys passionate about growing the sport in South and them achieving greatness in athletics, you know, and that's what back sports was about, you know, and it's about, you know, empowering South African athletes, you know, making South African athletes see that the world is bigger than just in South Africa. And that's what we want to do, that's what we want to contribute to Africa, and then obviously we're going to take it to the world, we're going to take over the world, change the way the world sees African sports. One main thing that we want to build is a company that's fun to work with, uh, that you earn your way, when I just say earn your way, it's limitless 
where we started with EC to where we are now at Exports. We, we transformed and have evolved at a tremendous rate. I think one of the best um, experiences, you know, while watching us uh, race um, at, at Pearl Beach was just after the race, um, didn't really see the results. And the people in front of me were talking about, uh, no, don't worry about it, I'll just check it on Backtrack. You know, and that's when we just started it. People behind us were talking about Backtrack, you know, and they were sitting, didn't really know uh, about the giant we were creating. You know, so that's, uh, you know, that's where we are at the moment and the future is looking bright. We've evolved into this, you know, media machine that just looks out for the athletes but also transforming to the side where now we're covering other sports, you know, swimming, netball, um, we are also in uh, rugby. I would say definitely not build something that's uh, toxic in a way. Um, that we have everyone on an equal basis moving forward. Can't let the youth down, we can't leave them behind and think, okay, we've made it and now we're gonna be fine, you know. There's still the youth coming behind us and we need to empower them and make sure that when we're out of it, they are taking charge and they are still lifting it up. So yeah, that's where I see us going, taking over the world. <laughs> Welcome to Backtrack, proudly hosted by Backtrack. <laughs> mm, proudly hosted by Backtrack, yes sir. And I would like to welcome you all to another episode of Backtrack. Proudly hosted by Backtrack. Today, not only are we hosting one of the greatest runners of all times, but one of my personal favorites, Wade van Niekerk. I don't want to run against him. 